Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This time, I fancy playing something a little bit, uh, a little bit more chilled out. So I was going through my library, and uh, one game that I've wanted to LP for years is Cameo: Elements of Power. Um, in my opinion, it is a forgotten gem from the 360 era, and uh, a while ago, I do actually have the 360 original over there. Um, but a few weeks ago, I picked up the Rare Replay, and it's one of the games on there, so I can play it on my Xbox One X, which is cool. Um, it is a gem, I think, in the Xbox 360 library anyway. A lot of people say that when Microsoft took over um, Rare, they never actually made any good games. That's not entirely true. And I thought we were going to get interrupted there. That's not entirely true. Um, I mean, it's fair to say that Rare's best years are long gone. And Rare isn't even Rare anymore. I mean... It's also fair to say, since they've been under the Microsoft banner, they have basically just shoveled shit out the door. Um, which is interesting, because Rare used to be like one of the top-end premium um, studios that just hit after hit after hit after hit when they were under Nintendo. Now, Cameo is an interesting game. It is a platformer, but it's a rather unique one. It actually started development for the, um, I believe, it had its starts uh, right at the end of the N64's life. Um, and then it was moved over to the GameCube. And then Microsoft acquired Rare, so it was moved to the original Xbox. And then it was moved to the Xbox 360 for a launch game. And there are screenshots of it in, in um, different development stages. And wow, like, it's so weird to see, like, a GameCube game. Um, a GameCube version of this game, when you know what it looks like now. It, To be fair, it looked pretty good. Um, and then obviously there was a quite a visual upgrade when it went over to the uh, Xbox original and then obviously to the 360. Now, this game really, in my opinion, visually holds up incredibly well. I honestly think this is one of the best looking uh, 360 games there was. Um, now, considering this was a launch game and it launched alongside Perfect Dark Zero, which was... Wow, yeah, um, mm, hot garbage comes to mind. Considering how amazing Perfect Dark was on the N64. Yeah, uh, let's, let's forget about that one. But yes, uh, Cameo, because there was two launch games from Rare. Cameo and Perfect Dark Zero. And everyone talks about Perfect Dark Zero. No one talks about Cameo, but it was the far superior game. Anyway, let's uh, actually get into it, because I've been waffling on for a while now. I have fired this up quickly um, to test, see if it still holds up. And yes, I think so. Cameo is also in herself a really interesting character. Why we never got a Cameo 2 or anything like that, I don't know. Because the concept really is that good. Who knows? Anyway, let's start. And you're going to see, bearing in mind, this game's 2005. This game is beautiful. This game did actually have multiplayer, uh, split screen multiplayer. Which, <sighs> yeah, it was weird. Um, I haven't played this game since the 360 launched. So that's what, oh my god. Almost 15 years ago, guys. Wow, really? 2000? Yeah. Oh man, what? What? 2005? Holy shit. Anyway, cool. So yeah, I actually played um, the, the co-op multiplayer at the time. And yeah, it was alright. Um, it was okay. The music in this game. My god, guys. The music in this game is incredible. Because this was when Rare was Rare. 
Um, anyway, let's hit up solo. We're going to go normal. Like, expert, you just get more points. And, um... Yeah, this is a, a twisted version. They, they kind of, like, play with it a little bit. They make it much, much harder. Like, seriously harder. Um, but normal's fine. Begin or continue a solo quest. Guiding Hamio as she battles to defeat Thorn and rescue her family. I mean, the story's generic, Pap, but the idea in this game is very good. Let's go normal. Um... That I did just test it to make sure I still, you know, was if I was feeling it. And yes, oh yes, let's go for. Oh my god, it's so weird to see like the 360 um, UI. Oh dear. Um, let's just call it. Oh dear, look how much lag there is. Oh my god, like you push a button and then like over a second later it, it reacts. Oh, it's horrible. Never mind. What can we do? There we go. That will do. Right, let's play. So we've got three options. We can go for score attack options. Oh, hang on. No, we can't do it yet. That's fine. That's fine. So, let's hit our play. Let's go. Cameo. Elements of power. Trolls look... Oh. <laughs> High among the clouds. Cameo was bestowed with a fabled transformation magic. But her sister's jealousy released a dark shadow from our pasts. Rekindling an ancient conflict between the trolls and the elves. With her family held prisoner, Cameo is their only hope. Oh shit, here we go guys. Right. Listen well. Oh fuck, I just skipped that tooltip. It doesn't matter, he just waffles on a load of old bollocks basically. Right, okay, so the main rub of this game um, is we play Cameo and we can transform into different creatures. Uh, all with a different element and different abilities. And as the game goes on, you can actually uh, level these characters up. And guys, just look. Look how much, as I'm playing this first level, look how much is going on. This game really, like, was a showcase for the 360 when it came out. And there's some stuff that happens in this game that I don't think was ever surpassed, you know? It was... This game really blew my mind, and I was so excited for what we were going to see on the 360, and sadly, not much really came close to what we see in this game. And you will see that as we go on. Anyway... Let's grab these. Listen well, Cameo. For your family is being held in this castle. In the form of Chilla, you should be able to climb this ice. Use left stick to pull, blah, blah, blah. I know how to do video games, pal. Right, okay. Like I said, I'm not an expert at this game. Uh, I, I'm going to try and 100% it. Oh, God. Hello, you little prick. Right, let's go. Let's move. The enemies are quite entertaining as well. I mean, they're stupid, but they're entertainingly stupid, if that makes sense. Now, it is puzzly. I love the enemies. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it just scoffs so hard. Scoffs him up like a bit of dog shit. <laughs> I love that. Oh, the enemies. Listen to the music, though. It's so good. Now, your pummel weed form can deliver quick jabs and uppercuts. Mm. Just what you need to deal with these trolls. Yeah, so as I said, uh, we get different um, beasties. Obviously, we don't have them all at the start. And each one's good at a, a different function. Now, as we... Or a different situation. As we go through the game... And look how much is going on, guys. Look at it. And it gets worse later... Well, it gets worse. It gets better later on. Um, 
So this is our main fighter, and as we go through the game, all these um, elemental beasts that we can, uh, that we get, can get leveled up as well, if we find the optional fruit. There's X amount of them to find in the game. We're going to try and get them all. I think we can get them. Yeah, we're going to get them all. So no worries there. Anyway, let's go. It's Pamelin time. Ooh. I don't think so, pal. Now, oh god, okay. I say I don't think so. He's like literally rolling me over. Now if you get a good combo going up, you get that, you can actually slow down time. Which is pretty spicy. Although it can also be annoying as well. But Pummelweed is our main combatant. And uh, he gets spicy ah, later on. Ruin form can help mm. you get up ramps and slopes. Perfect for getting around this crumbling castle. Mm. Nice. I do like Major Ruin. Ah, th th right, okay, so the, the creature design in this is fantastic. It really is. Right, well, he's a bit of a pussy. That's fine. Uh, let's check these out. Pressing X, Y, or B will allow you to morph into different warriors. Each has a unique uh, skill and ability. Experiment with Eleanor to find the best ways of defending yourself. Yeah, we shall. So we've got a charge ability of Major Ruin. <laughs> and you can get enemies stuck to you, which is great. Now, if you roll around with an enemy stuck to you, you will actually do damage, which is cool. But you can also do a Cyclone ability to flip them off, which is really funny. Uh, the combat in this game is... I, it's simplistic, but it, you know, it's fun. And there's so much going for this game. I really don't know why we never saw a sequel. Like, out of all of the um, platform like franchises that I can think of, this one is really good. Ah, oh, I don't know. Anyway, you won't be able to climb this ramp, Cameo, but one of your forms should be well suited to slopes and hills. Once the door is opened, you can push B to morph into Major Ruin and pull our T to build up some spin. Yes, boss. That we can do. All these spikes and shit laying around, we can actually use those in combat. And these little things here, these little burning barrels, we can knock them over. Um, if we, There we go. And they will actually spill burning hot viscous oil. And it's so cool. You don't really see anything like this. Like the physics that were shown off in this game were really next gen. Right, what have we got here? When you defeat trolls, you add to your battle points, which are displayed at the top of the screen. Battle bonuses are awarded to those who are skillful in combat. It will further increase your points when dispatching an enemy. Make sure to practice varied and high scored battle tactics. You may as well be rewarded for your efforts. Yeah, you, yeah, I, I mean, you get rewarded by points. It doesn't really matter like that. A charged spin should have enough force to shatter this gate. Change it to major ruin with B and then pull RT until you're glowing. Face the gate, then push RT and you'll easily smash it open. Aye, laddie. Full speed ahead. Damn, son. Oh, God. Yeah, very, very physics kind of heavy in certain parts of this game, but it doesn't, like, it doesn't get tiresome, if you know what I mean. I mean, like I said, there's a lot of puzzles and things. I say puzzles loosely. Um, you sometimes have to think about how to traverse the train, like here, for instance. But it's never too taxing, from what I can remember. Now, like I say, take everything I say with a grain of salt for now, because it has been, what, 15 years since I played this game. Alright, I'll give you, uh, uh, not 15 years, it's been 14, alright? You twisted my arm, you've exposed me as a liar. 14 years, because it's 2019. Okay, and I do love the backwards compatibility on the Xbox One. Like, that is my favourite feature of the Xbox One. I mean, this is Xbox One X, but, I mean, you know, they're all the same fucking thing, just this one's a bit faster. The backwards compatibility is so good really is. Right, this little turd's hiding in one of these, but that's okay, because we can use our creeper ability to de-armor them, like so. Now, if you ever see these laying around, it really is worth your effort to try and get rid of them. Maybe not here. Ah, oh, we actually got hurt, though. Maybe not here, because we're, like, in the tutorial stage, but it's definitely worth trying to get rid of those things, because the enemies will hide, and ouch, my face. 
Come here, pal. Get out of here. <laughs> Finish him. Ah, we have more friends. Evening, my dude. Put your dukes up, pal. Ah. Oh, God. There's a bomb there. <laughs> right, what have we got here? Use pummel weed's creeper technique and then get close to the shell. Wait for your opportunity, then pull uh, RT to uppercut. This should knock the shell away and expose that cowardly troll with a little convincing. He'll let you pass that barricade. Indeed. Ah, oh, hey, friendos. Alright, let's hide. This one's mine. Up your ass, pal. Come on. Nice. Lots of environmental traps as well. And they're always fun to use. Uh, all enemies have little health meters. Your health can actually get drained pretty quick if you're not careful. Yeah, it's going to take me a little while to get back into the swing of it. There we go. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. As a wise man once said. Boop. Oh, man. Alright, well, that'll do. At least these guys dropped some health for us. Now, our health bar and whatnot will get upgraded as we go along. Um, now. No, we still can't do it yet. Alright, well, we can hop over there if we want it. Because, yeah, well. Okay, I guess that's the way we're going. Alright, up and at him. Boop. Ah, oh, it's so much fun. Hey, pal. Ooh, right in the face. You don't want this guy in the face. Tell you that much. Now, those flaming imps are really annoying. They take ages and ages and ages to kill. But, there's an easy way. Grab a troll. Yeah, 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 we know that. So, Chiller can grab enemies and stick them to his back. <laughs> uh, Chiller has a troll on his back. He can hurl it away with left trigger or use it as a club. Yes, but we don't want to fuck with this guy. Get out of here, you bum. Brutal carnage. Alright, not bad. Now, you, uh, also, I think... Let's turn into cameo a minute. I think sometimes if you spill these barrels, they can have flame imps inside them, I think. And you don't really get anything for fighting all the enemies or anything like that. There's no real reason. But apart from the fact that, you know, it's fun. Uh, your exit's unguarded, but getting up there may be tricky. Don't be afraid to experiment with your abilities. Realizing your potential is half the battle. Oh, and uh, don't fall, for goodness sake. Right, you are. Okay, major ruin. Let's go. And the transformations, because I think each creature can be upgraded three times. And they start looking like really freaking badass as you upgrade them. And you can upgrade them, you know, whichever one you wish. You, uh, God damn it. You can pick and choose. Ooh, there we go. Beautiful. Let's go. Now, that blue bar under our health bar is how much uh, stamina we have for using abilities. And it does drain quite quick to begin with, but it also comes back pretty quick. If you just lay off the abilities for a while. Well, let's go down the pipe. Boop. Call me a plumber. Ah, oh, we missed the bug. That's not good. Squish. <laughs> also, I was trying to edit a load of clips. Um, I've, I took loads of clips of Halo. So I was trying to edit them on... on Upload Studio, I think they call it. But that program is a turd. Oh, hey, friend. Upload Studio and just sharing clips in general on the Xbox. Like, I would say it's garbage. Oh, what? I don't know what happened there. We slid off somehow. I would say it's garbage, but that's an understatement. Like, that... I mean, garbage has its uses. Come here. They just never managed to nail it like they, uh, like Sony did with the PlayStation. It's so slow, it's so clunky. And uh, Upload Studio crashes. And for some reason, like all of my clips are doubled as well. So I have to go through thousands of clips when I'm trying to edit stuff. While Major Ruin is in the air, pulling RT will allow you to hover for a short while and build up some spin, extending your jump. While hovering, you can 
aim left. Hang on. Oh yeah, I remember that. That's quite useful because you can so you can basically go like up and then pull it again like so. I remember. Boop. Boop. Oh god. Okay. Come on, baby. Fred that needle. Get in the hole. Oh, out of practice much. I would say so. Come on. There we go. Oh, oh I just missed the hole there. Look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, run out of power. Now, if we actually wait for a while, Major Ruin will actually come out of his shell. There we go. Look at him. <laughs> oh, I like the character's lines. Oh, come on. This should not be this difficult. Yeah, there we go. Yes, we did it. We threaded that needle. Hmm. Voss's Das. Oh, hello. Another cowardly boy. Well, that's fine. Hey, buddy. Batter up. Boom. Oh, well, that didn't work out too well, did it? Now, these guys are invincible, but we can use the environment against them. <laughs> Brutal. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> why do they have big cannons strapped to their back? Like, I mean, uh, why am I even wondering? Why am I thinking that? Oh, in the lava. Dude. That guy's lit, man. I'm sorry. That was terrible. I'm not actually that sorry. All right, let's go. Where are you, little bastard? Where did he go? Oh, there you are. Hey, friend. Boom. Come on, off the ramp. Ooh. No, not me, you cameo. Let's get him off the ramp. There we go. See you in hell, asshole. Listen to that music. Okay, cool. Let's grab up some health whilst we can. Now, there's... you won't be able to defeat these strange roll, tro roll trolls. I like that. Directly, so you'll have to find another way to put them down and out. Use your head. Mm hmm. Yeah, now, also, any time we can become Cameo. She's not that useful, to be honest. She's got a, like, scissor kick thing, like that. And she can jump, which, yay. And she can also fly and hover. Like, her main ability, really, is that she can move fast. Okay, let's harvest up as much health as we can whilst we're here. Doesn't appear to be too much. What's in the box? The box, the box. Boop. Nope, nothing. Damn it! Why would you have boxes with nothing in them? It's not fair, man. Right, come here, you little turd. Boop. Can we kill this guy? I hope we can kill this guy. Uh, we might not be able to kill this guy. That's strange. Alright. So what do you say? You'll need to defeat all of the roll trolls to unlock this gate. Once they're down, use Chiller's Ice Spike to strike the crystal. Hit it with enough force that it might just open the gate. Enough to let you squeeze underneath it with Pummelweed's Creeper Technique. Yeah, you're going to see. We're going to have to mix and match abilities. Quite a lot in this game. But, you know, it's fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, baby, I know. Alright, let's sneak under this. There we are. Beautiful. Now you can see all the combat going on. Whoa, destructible environments as well. Kind of. Ah, hey, pal. Oh, no, 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 no. Not good, not good. <laughs> yeah, Cameo is really weak. But, you know, she does have that ability. Ah, oh, that guy just got rolled over by an elf girl. Brutal. Is she an elf? She's more of a fairy, I suppose. I don't really know. I don't think they ever really explain what she is, to be honest. There we go. Evening, bugs. Damn it. We've got some bugs in the system, guys. Ooh. They're gone. They have a very satisfying squeak as they die. Hello, friendo. You picked the wrong time to come through that window. Sent him packing. Anybody? Ooh. Ooh, we don't want any of your business. Let's get ch let's get chiller out. Ouch! I think these bugs actually explode and hurt you, which is not good. 
Hey, friend. There you go. <laughs> Enjoy your trip. Send me a postcard, bitch. Hello, friendo. Here, let me help you with that, shall we? Yep. All right. Enjoy. Hey, <laughs> off to the moon. All right. I never get sold. Oh, we're actually low on health already. Damn. We're getting low on health anyway. So, what's going on out here? Look at all this craziness. Oh my god, like thousands of enemies on the screen. Would have been interesting to see this running on the GameCube, to be fair. Alrighty. See you later, guys. Boop. Boop. There we go. Efficient use of powers. About as efficient as I get, anyway. Right, let's harvest up some health. We're gonna need it. Nice. I don't think you ever get anything else in boxes. Oh, you do get money, though. Because there are shops in this game. But I can't remember, like, the deets with it, like that. Okay. Let's continue grabbing up all the health for no reason. Ah. Oh, yeah. See that knobhead there with the cannon? Eh, eh. Got a nice surprise for him. This potato's for you. Get these down. I should forgot you could do that. Boop. Come on. Yeah, there is a bit of an arc with Chiller's attack, but you get used to it. Like anything, really. Ooh, I don't like. No, that's fine. <laughs> I didn't like the way that bridge looked damaged there. Like, they're gonna drop something unpleasant on my brain. Apparently not. And we got a whole load of nothing, man. Actually, you can move quite quick with the creeper ability. But it does drain stamina. Right, let's be sly here. Oh. Hey, buddy. Big cannon you have there. It'd be a shame if anybody. Look, can you stop punching me? It'd be a shame if anybody broke it. Come on, Chilla, my friend. Get to work on that door. Lovely. Uh, no, we need to go underground. Um, underground, please. Thank you. Please do not turn off your Xbox. Okay. Uh, this place looks a little bit bigger. What have we got? The trolls have lowered the tower that you need to climb. Raise it. You'll have to, to raise it. You'll have to defeat them. Make use of what you've learned so far, and I'm sure you'll make it through in one piece. Well, I'm reasonably sure. Oh, ye of little faith, pal. Oh, ye of little faith. But before we do anything with them, let's get rid of those. Just don't want to have to mess with those later on. Oh, God, that was bad. I didn't realize how many of these trolls there were. You know what? Let's get Major Ruin out. Let's take him for a spin. Literally. Hey, friendo. Come on. Come to Papa. Nice. Yes. Carnage. Oh, the brutality. Oh, that's interesting. When we've knocked those barrels over, we can't actually knock them over again. Let's get rid of these, because these will be a pain in our ass otherwise. Get out of here, pal. Boop. Yeah, we don't want the trolls commandeering these things. Get out of here. Come on. Really? Off. Get off my land. Hey, friendo. You know where you're going, don't you? I know where you're going. Haha. <laughs> you're going to hell. You're taking the long way now. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, hey, friend. What's going on with you guys? Now, is that all of the... Yeah, that's all of those things that we got rid of. Now, one thing with our ability, we can actually stack these guys up, which is reasonably entertaining. Come on, friend. I'm going to give you a ride. Not a good ride. I'll give you a painful, spiky ride. And then a ride to doom. Come on. See you later. Now, these are the cowardly, skinny ones. These would be hiding. Hey, my friend, get on board. One way trip to hell. 
And you're all invited. And the price is right. Hurry up. <laughs> it never gets old. Hello. Hmm, and a random tower appears. Right, let's see if we can harvest up some more health. Not bad. Any more? Definitely could use some more if we could. Now, we've got a combining ability here, which is kind of cool. It's something that feels very good to execute. Ooh, hey, friend. Ooh, what are you doing with that big hammer? You're hitting me in the face. I don't think so. Let's try the club. Let's get some club action going on. <laughs> That's quite nice. Ooh, I like. I'm going to guess that there's unlimited guys here. So, let's get out of here. See you later, assholes. Alright, this is just going to explain to us what we do here. So, what we've got to do. Charge off and then quickly turn into chiller. Such a cool little ability. Oh, bollocks. I forgot about you. Get out of here. Get out. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. You, sir, have just made me mad. That is a mistake that you should learn to regret, I can assure you. Ooh. What the hell's going on? Why are we getting trolls down here? There we are. Getting lots of trolls down here. What the hell's going on? Oh, he's firing them out of his cannon, I think. Alright, now, you buddy, get here. Alright, well, you know, or just die. Whatever works for you, my friend. Boop. Nice. <laughs> All these dudes just like falling from the sky, falling from the heavens. We're already in half an hour, but we're almost there now. I want to finish this tutorial. Come here, friend. And you. I know you want to ride. That's fine. I'm going to be like the local bike at this rate. Boop. Okay. Any health? Yes. Give me all of the health. Just what daddy wanted. Alright. Daddy's happy. Let's go. I should say mummy. Oh, no. Ice beams. That was... Naughty little sausage hiding there. Okay. Saving content. So this is like our first boss coming up. This guy's actually a big teddy bear. This brute looks intimidating, but he seems to have a glass jewel. If you can get a solid punch on his chin, you'll stun him long enough to follow through with some well-aimed shots. Think carefully about your warrior's powers. And don't slip up now, your family's on the other side of these doors. Uh-huh. Wakey wakey, my friend. Eggs and bakey. Now, we could do some complicated bullshit and fight him fairly, or we could just drop that on his head, you know. It's all fair in love and war, you know. Alright, let's go. Smell you later, buddy. Finally awake, are we? Uh, where... where am I? 
Your battered and broken body was found by the castle servants and brought to my hut. It took all my power and skills to bring you back from the brink of death. Do you know who I am, child? I'm not a child, and yes, I know who you are. The Mystic, one of my mother's royal advisors. Very good. Now, would you like to explain why you stormed an enemy castle without the whatnot? Because I didn't have time to sit around and wait for some old book to be repaired. <laughs> you were warned. If you ventured too far from the whatnot, your power over the elemental warriors would be weakened. But did you listen? What would you have done if your family was kidnapped by a horde of trolls? I had to try and rescue them. And yet all you succeeded in doing was to lose every elemental warrior your mother passed on to you. There was nothing I could do. Callus was torturing the ancestors, and I tried to command my warriors to stop her. But before I even blinked an eye, this massive troll caught me off guard. A massive troll? Ah, it is worse than I feared. Thorn, king of the trolls, has somehow been awakened. And there is only one who possesses the power to do so. Callus, why would she have betrayed us so completely? For power, why else? And with Thorn at her side, she may yet get what she desires. I will do everything I can to stop them and to save my family, but without any elemental warriors, I'm doomed, aren't I? There is still hope. But first, you must convince the wizard Ortho that you are still worthy of the whatnot and heed this warning. Do not fail this task, because I need... <laughs> Silly me. I mean, you need that book in order to set things right. I promise I won't fail, Mystic. Very good. Warrior trainer! You may enter now! Follow me, if you please. I will take you to Ortho. Well, alrighty then. Yes, the mystic. Go. We have no time to waste. Kind of get the evil McEvil feeling from this creature. Ah, uh, probably just being paranoid. Did you not understand me? Finding Ortho is your only chance of regaining the power you need to defeat mm -hmm. Thorn. So don't just stand there gawking at me. <laughs> Continue searching the gardens until you found him. Trust me, I don't really want to gawk at you. You are rather ugly, to be fair. Right, anyway, guys, I am going to end it there. So, thank you very much for watching uh, the first part of Cameo, Elements of Power. I'm enjoying this. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, so, when we come back, we've got to go see our trainer friend. Uh, hmm. So, until then, guys. Until then. <laughs>